All right, folks, this is our first hotel and our mission to upgrade our hotel over the next four or five days. With each hotel getting better and better as the days go on, it's pretty crazy. And here's the first one, an executive suite Hyde House short pump in Richmond, Virginia. And you can see the view here, pretty, pretty interesting. Corner suite, a lot of space. <laughs> it just keeps going. It just keeps going, baby. And during this stay, we really found just a few things. Number one, of this room in particular, I believe is about 100 to maybe $150 a night room. Literally one of the best rooms, if not the best room that this hotel has to offer. And then I noticed at the front door, they have this sign here that says, live life happy, wear old sneakers every chance you get, ride roller coasters with your hands up, play hooky the first super sunny spring day, don't settle for store-bought cake, and stand up for the little guy. That's uh, a very interesting message for sure, and I'm going to carry that wisdom with me for the entire trip. And just look at the actual stay here itself. It's actually pretty freaking big. Like I said, a little under 700 square feet, huge freaking bathroom, bedroom, and one of the biggest showers that I've seen, at least thus far, with you could actually see right here that message I just read out actually sees through to the bathroom. So <laughs> that's a little weird, but interesting nonetheless. Oh my God. <laughs> you can see through. Woke up around 8.30, went and got the hotel breakfast, wasn't bad at all, and they had a bunch of options of turkey sausage. I was making some waffles, and for whatever reason, somebody stole my waffle. That's right, somebody stole my waffle. Huh? Huh? Are you f Worked out at the hotel gym, did some arms. The gym was actually attached to this pretty cool courtyard area. It kind of looked like it was a putting green at first, but then I realized it was just fake grass. But all in all, the room is 680 square feet. The room is kind of hot, a little bit old and outdated, but definitely one of the nicest rooms already that I've ever been to. And we have three other hotels that are also way more expensive than this hotel. So <laughs> let's get to the next one. And this room, while not being as big as the previous one, it's definitely a more luxurious hotel. And actually when we went to the front desk, they actually gave us breakfast vouchers for me and my wife to use at the on-site restaurant, which is very, very cool. And, and wait a second, why is that golf ball here? Hmm. How are you feeling? <laughs> Yeah, As he stumbles with his IPA. Hey, hey now. <laughs> I work in an hour. Oh, come on. You're going too hard, man. You're going way too hard. Short club. Short club. There you go. Let's go, CJ. Let's go, CJ. Let's go, CJ. Look at those arms. Go dry. CJ. Go dry. CJ, don't look now, CJ. There's a plane. Don't hit that. <laughs> Don't hit that. Don't hit that. And of course, the Capital One building with the Venture X, you love to see it, as well as the room itself has a very nice view. And here you can see they actually have the swivel TV, and the room, again, just not as big as the previous ones. But you can see the view right here, and you can actually see right here, out into the distance, is the airport where you can see some planes taking off. Overall, oddly enough, even though it is a nicer hotel, we have a smaller room. I guess not everything could be the executive suite, right? But, uh, <laughs> good place with a good view. I don't know. This one's definitely probably the lowest here now on the list, but... And the toilet flush is just way too loud. But we still have two more hotels that are definitely way better than this one, so let's get to the next one, baby. Hey, oh, hey, how's it going? How's everything, man? Just making sure it was you. We're at the third hotel, baby. And we got an upgrade to a corner king. Come check it out because I'm looking at it pretty much at the same time as you guys are. So I'm looking very, very modern, very nice. We are at the Thompson Hotel in Washington, D.C. Getting upgrades here and there, but this is very, very nice. And one thing I actually just saw before I started filming was you can push these windows out, man, and you can see out into the world. Not, not necessarily big enough that you can jump out, but <laughs> enough to get a nice breeze and you can see the downtown uh, I guess of wherever we are in Washington, D.C. This is my first time here. The traffic is a little bit crazy. We saw the Washington Monument as we were driving past. Saw the Capitol Building, the Jefferson Memorial, and then this room. So check it out. See what we got here. What do we have? Let's see. Nothing. Unreal. Usually these places, these Thompsons, will have some sort of... If you can get a nice enough room, you can actually have like a whole bar set here. Still have to pay for it and whatnot. But it looks like we just got... I don't know, your normal coffee maker. A Look at that, come on, Thompson, a bent cap? We can't afford that here, okay? We can't afford to have mishaps like this. I think that was my 
Oh, this is your... Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Sorry, Thompson, sorry. The lighting in the Thompsons, you'll notice there's usually no dome lights or overhead lights. Seems like Hyatt really wants to save money on electricity, so they usually just have these kind of lights. Another thing I saw that was interesting was this radio right here. I don't know how it turns on, though. Is there Bluetooth? There is Bluetooth. <laughs> there actually is Bluetooth. And also a bed fitted up for a king. <laughs> And a queen behind the camera, of course. And don't worry, the shoes, the hiking boots are not on the bed. We're, we're promptly off the bed, okay? But look at this robe, man. Very, very nice. Actually, really nice. Like, really nice. Let's see the bathroom. Let's see what we got here, because we always know the bathroom. I guess, I, I guess Thompson really does not care about the lights. The lights do not turn on in the bathroom, <laughs> okay. A mirror here so you can look at yourself while you're showering. And here we have a new, let's go baby, we have a new type of toilet flush in this one. There's a new one. You push the button in and the water goes down. You know, we've seen our fair share of, you know, chains now. What the hell kind of toilet is that? <laughs> it's bu what? I guess, I don't know. Pull the chain. What does the chain do? <laughs> I'm afraid to pull the chain. Pull the chain. <laughs> Alright. Do I have to hold it? I guess. Oh my god! I like going the chain. So, so this one I think is considerably better than every other hotel we've been at so far. It's not as big as that first hotel, that executive suite, but I would say this is a lot nicer, this is way more modern, so... Who really knows, but since we're in DC, let's go explore! Someday, I'm going to take over this city. <laughs> and boy, did we actually explore. Take a look at the Library of Congress. If you guys are ever in DC, you definitely have to hit this up. It is absolutely insane. It is actually free to go to, and you just have to see how insane this looks. I mean, come on. Look at the ceiling here. It's freaking expansive. The middle area here, which we actually weren't able to go down to, but I, I don't think any words that I can say here can do this justice. That is, that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we ended up going to this place called Founding Farmer. Serious double patty baby. And the sun glare, that's a photo op. Oh my God. Can I get the stand? There it is. Nice. Look at all the phones. Wait, huh? We just got mesmerized by the Capitol. Wow. It's been a while. I have to go one more. What's up, bro? Ant. Anthony. Ant, watch out! But remember, our mission is not over yet. We still have to make it to the Waldorf Astoria, and we actually took lift scooters all the way there. Ready? Yeah. Get the yeah. Nice. We, made, oh, we did it. That's we crazy. made it to the hotel. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it looks like a castle, don't it? It does. It absolutely does. Ah. You like that nice clock? That's a nice clock, man. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, Jake Brick here. You you know what you're talking about, man. Yeah, man. Listen, Luke might make fun of you for the scooters, but I'm with you now. <laughs> I get it. Let's get the Chief Sapphire Reserve. Get lift thing. <laughs> and honestly, the videos, the pictures do not do it justice. This is a massive building, the post office of Washington, DC. This place is crazy. We made it. We said we were going to do it, and we did it. The Waldorf Astoria in Washington, D.C. We booked the FHR, Fine Hotels and Worth. This is what the Amex Platinum Card can get you if you do it right. One of the most luxurious properties in the entire world, I think. But without further ado, let me show you the inside. Now, driving up to the Waldorf Astoria in D.C. in, you know, my office 
was an unforgettable experience. I've never had this type of experience in service before. As soon as we drove up, the people opened our doors, we opened the trunk up, and then with fi within five seconds, we already felt like best friends with the valet people. They're asking us where we're from, which team that we're repping, all these different things, you know, just chatting us up. They took the bags, they literally like took the bags and said, no, you're not carrying this, sir. Carrying our, you know, heavy luggages. We're just chatting them up. He goes to the front desk and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Venture are here for their reservation. Here are their bags. And as soon as he dropped his bags off before he left, he said, hey guys, you want some complimentary champagne on us to kind of start your stay here? I said, what? I said, absolutely. <laughs> So it's gonna get you on uh, some champagne to start the celebration. Oh, oh my God. gosh. I'll be right back. Sure. Right back. Sure. No more than, you know, 15 seconds later, he comes running back with two full glasses of champagne to which, you know, was basically strong enough and good enough to get us like kind of like half drunk, half drunk in the lobby. And oh my God, the lobby. The lobby is insane, baby. Look at all of this happening right here. Like, my God. You have the cherry blossom trees. You have Peacock Alley Bar. This huge American flag. You could see the clock tower. Expansive behind us is the bazaar that Michelin Star Restaurant I was talking about. And a ceiling that just seems to go on forever. And we even had the harp player that was playing one of my favorite classical composers, Eric Satie. They were playing Gymnopédie as soon as we came in. I was like, wow. How could this get any freaking better, man? And everybody in there just seems really rich. Like, everybody's in suits. They're doing business meetings. They're drinking their wine, their champagne. They're getting some food at Peacock Alley. Like, this is a crazy, crazy time. Basically, this was my real, real reaction to actually being here. So, <laughs> let's go to the past Anthony that's getting slightly drunk right now. So, I think this is a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> Just, just a little bit of the green. I mean, what the hell is all this? What is this? This is real life. This is high class living. The harpsichord? Oh my god. <laughs> this is insane. You just mentioned this is clock. You said this is, this is an yep. actual clock. Like, this is something that you would want to keep. You know, in your you know your favorite house, your grandma's house for many many years. It's not something you throw away. Apparently, they do though. They they probably could use the bathroom with it. But this is absolutely. I don't even. I'm at lost for words. I mean, going from our first hotel, our executive suite, the Hyatt House in Virginia, to now probably one of the classiest hotels in the entire world. Oh my goodness gracious. And unfortunately, the room was not exactly ready as soon as we got there, unfortunately, because we did get there a little early, but it was well worth the wait. And basically, I asked them at the front desk, I was like, so did we get uh, did we get an upgrade, you know, uh, you know, for this day at all? You know, because we booked FHR and that's one of the benefits. And they said, yeah, yeah, we actually booked you. We upgraded you not once. We also upgraded you twice to like the superior room. But then I saw they actually upgraded you a third time to one of their signature, almost like not secret, but like, uh, you know, selective rooms, ones that you can't book on the app. You have to just be lucky enough to get that room. And once again, once that room was ready, we had a bellhop that said, I'm going to take your bags for you all the way up to the room. Don't even touch it. And I even asked him, I was like, can I help you bring the bags up to the room? He says, no, if you help me, my boss is going to be very angry with me. So I'm like, what is this? What is this life? I'm just a freaking schlep, you know, just booking, you know, being a crazy person, booking with my Amex points, right? But being treated like royalty over here. So what did we do? We went up to the eighth floor, the top floor, to room 822. Now, remember 822 if you guys ever go there. Try to get room 822 because, oh man, whew, I don't even want to say anything. I think my words would only dampen it. Look at my real, real reaction. Right now, I'm about to show you in just a second, is my real, real immediate reaction of holding my my phone like this and running through this over 1,000 square foot hotel room at the Waldorf Astoria in DC. So just enjoy and and let's just cut to me in the past again. Let's go. go ahead. Oh my god. Rick. Oh. What is this? oh my god, it's a whole house. It's a whole house. It's a whole house. <laughs> oh my god. What's <laughs> this? What? <laughs> oh. Just use the button over there, up and down. This right here? Yeah, both lines. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wow. That's amazing. 
Oh my lord. So we have a coffee tea here. Oh. This, if you want extra, please dial zero. We'll be happy to bring for you. Nice. Ice, we don't have ice machine. Just dial zero, we'll bring it for you. Gotcha. And hot water for the tea, dial zero. <laughs> we have a bottle of water. In case you want extra, just let us know. Four or five will bring for you. Yes, and here, mini bar in case you have to order. And this yeah. is all paid for and not, yeah. not for it. Yeah, this is making sure. If you like to <laughs> Of course. And the room saves 24 hour menus on the TV. You can just get from there. Gotcha. Yeah, if you want to order anytime. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. If nobody want to bother you, you just press here. And, uh, what does it do? Here. It's going to be red. So oh. when we see here, we don't bother you. Nobody housekeeping, oh nobody bothers you. Gotcha. And uh, you go back there and uh, we just press again. What is makeup room? Makeup, if somebody want to clean your room. Oh, makeup room. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Have a nice one, okay? You too. You too. Bye-bye. So yes, this is what a $3,000 plus a night hotel room looks like at the Waldorf Astoria in Washington, D.C. I mean, I quite literally woke up with the Washington Monument at my window. Like, are we kidding me? <laughs> are we kidding with this entire stay? The gold sheen on all of the, you know, nozzles and, and uh, you know, sinks and whatnot. The automatic curtains, the entire large ceilings, the absolutely expansive and giant bathtubs. Like, that's insane. The robes that they actually gave us. The living room that was expansive. The dining room that was absolutely insane. The guest bathroom. The master bedroom. Like... I, I can't even imagine a, a stay better than this. I, like, I, I know they have rooms that are 17000 every single night, but this was top top of the line for me for probably a long time. <laughs> like, probably for a while. And since we had a reservation on Open Table, which I definitely recommend, by the way, get a reservation beforehand at 8 p.m. And hey, wait, who's that down there? Hey, guys, look, it's Anthony Venture. He's totally stalking me. Oh, <laughs> there I am. Look at me waving my arms. This Michelin star restaurant was unlike anything I've ever seen before. I mean, I'm just going to give you in order of all the foods that we got. I mean, we got oxtail, which is actually Jose Andres's specialty food that you actually can order there. So that's one thing that he's known for. We got Chinese bao, which quite literally made my wife cry with how good it was. I've never seen her cry over food before. Jose Andres's Chinese bao. Yeah, it made her cry. <laughs> Brussels spouts with like foam on top. I don't really understand how they did this, but like foam, it tasted like eating bubbles and air, but it was really, really good. <laughs> it was like candy. Also had asparagus, asparagus guy, or I guess asparagus woman, whoever you're talking to. Absolutely amazing as well with some celery sticks and some what they call egg emulsion, which I was kind of making fun of the name. I forgot to mention that this restaurant also gave us complimentary champagne, like completely for free, which was as strong as the one we got at the hotel lobby when we got there. A lot of free stuff at this hotel. And just because I really wanted to experience it and just say that I had it, we got Japanese A5 Wagyu. So I'm thinking this is the highest level Wagyu steak you could possibly get in the world. And we got it, and it was $70, and this is how much we got. <laughs> this right here is A5 Japanese Wagyu steak. I think that's the highest level you can possibly get. $68. $70 for that? Come on, we want more. <laughs> and lastly, for dessert, we ended up getting this, like, coffee cake or coffee ice cream cake, something like that, to which they actually came with this, a blowtorch outlying happy anniversary on the dessert. Like, just look at this. L look at this insanity. <laughs> Listen to this. So we went out for a few hours to see all the monuments, right? Like, we saw the Washington Monument. We saw the reflecting pool. We saw the Lincoln Memorial. We saw the Smithsonian. We saw all these different things. And when we came back a few hours later, when we came back to the room, we saw this they gifted it oh no way <laughs> happy first anniversary no. no way they did that oh my god no. literally we were in here earlier there was nothing here all of a sudden we have this happy anniversary wait what there's two bottles of champagne. Two bottles of... Oh! Because our friends were here. Oh! Look at this! 
Oh my god! Wow! Macaroons, the capital top. Oh my god. Mr. and Mrs. Venture, thanks for choosing uh, to stay here at our property. I hope you both have a lovely anniversary. Here are some commodities to further enhance your stay. Kind regards. Oh, Darian and Jada. Wow. Oh, 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 uh, Daron. Oh, Daron, Daron. Daron and Jada. Those are the ones for the front desk. Oh. Wow! Oh. Hold it. Uh-huh. Hey! Come, Come on, son! Nice. And this was one of the most memorable trips of my entire life, and it all brings me back to that original stay, right where we all started. Live life happy. Wear old sneakers every chance you get, ride roller coasters with your hands up, play hooky the first super sunny spring day, don't settle for a store-bought cake, and stand up for the little guy. Keep living, guys. Keep having fun. Enjoy life while we can, because we don't have very long on this earth. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much, and have fun.